Right, so we've got this 40 kilogram block and it's being pulled by a force of 120 newtons. This can be resolved at 15 degrees, okay, if you look at your notes, I'm sorry I've had to change things just here. Actually it just didn't work otherwise. This is my vertical component, this is my horizontal component of the 120 newtons. The vertical component is the opposite side of a right angle triangle, the horizontal is the adjacent side. So I'm going to say vertical is equal to, it's the opposite side, so it's 120 sine of 15 degrees. Why? Because um, sine 15 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse V over 120. Simultaneously I can say that the horizontal is equal to 120 cos 15 degrees. Why? Because it is the adjacent side to the 15 degrees, the horizontal, and therefore cos of 15 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to determine the weight of this block and it is going to be 4 times 9.8 which turns out to be 39,2 newtons. I also know that I have got 31,06 newtons acting upwards. So the resultant force in the vertical direction is going to be equal to, I have to subtract the two, 8,14 newtons. We call that the normal. That is the force that is acting up against this 4 kilogram block, preventing it from going through the ground. So that is an upward force over there. If I want to work out friction, frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction, dynamic or um, static, and multiplied by the normal force. So I'm going to go 0, 0,38 and I'm going to multiply that by my 8,14 and I find that I get an answer of 3,09 newtons. That is now acting against the motion, 3,09 newtons, whilst I have got 115,91 newtons acting towards the right. So what is the resultant force? Force resultant in the horizontal direction is equal to um, 115,91 minus 3,09, which is going to be equal to 112,82 newtons. The question is, what is the acceleration of this block? Now, acceleration, force resultant, is always equal to mass multiplied by acceleration, I've got the resultant force in the horizontal direction, which is the only direction where there's any motion, because I haven't got any motion in the vertical direction over here. And then that is equal to the mass of the block, which is 4 times by acceleration. So therefore the acceleration turns out to be 28,2 meters per second squared. The blocks below rest on a rough horizontal surface. A force of 20 newtons is applied to the 3 kilogram mass. Frictional force between each block and the surface is 0, 0,5 newtons. I'm going to make that 20 newtons in that direction. Draw a fully labeled force diagram for each of the two blocks. So I'm going to take the 6 kilogram block. Fully labeled means I need to say weight. It doesn't say I have to calculate these. Acting against that is a normal. There is a force where, oh sorry, I'm going to have to put that 20 kilograms in the opposite direction, otherwise the 6 kilogram block would just be left behind, wouldn't it? So it'll have to go that way. I have got some or other force of the 3 kilogram acting, so this is applied by 3 kilogram, and it moves towards the left, and then against the motion, is going to be the frictional force. Then I am going to say I have got a 3 kilogram block. The 3 kilogram block is going to have a frictional force. You must write out the full names. If they said free body diagrams, by the way, you need to put it in a little circle. So that's a frictional force. And then it has also got an applied force, which was the 20 newtons. 
and there is a weight and there is a normal. Notice that I've made the weight and the normal approximately the same size. Ideally I'll make the applied force a bit bigger than the frictional force every time. I kind of ran out of space over here but that should be longer. You try, you don't have to measure them but you try and get them so that the bigger force looks bigger and the smaller force looks smaller. All right. Now what do they want me to do? They want me to calculate the force that the 6 kilogram block exerts on the 3 kilogram block. Well, the 3 kilogram block, oh sorry, I made a mistake, there's friction against this 3 kilogram. Good thing they reminded me, there's also the reaction force, where the 6 kilogram of 6 kilogram block is, act, is pushing back against the 3 kilogram. So let's go and try and work this out. We know that, um, well, we haven't got very much really. So we're going to go force resultant is equal to, there's no, nothing happening in the vertical direction. So I'm not going to consider that. And I have got an applied force. And why don't we just call that x because that would be nice because it's going to be exactly the same as that x over there because the, this is an action-reaction pair that is occurring at that surface. So I'm going to say a big force of the 3 kilogram pushing onto the 6 kilogram minus the small force of friction and this is going to be 6a is equal to x minus 0, 0,5 and I will make x the subject of the formula and I'm going to go 6a plus 0, 0,5. On the other side here I'm going to say force resultant for the other block is equal to big force, and the big force is the 20 newtons. That's applied, minus the frictional force, which is 0, 0,5, minus this x, which is working against it, is the reaction force of the 3 kilogram block, of the 6 kilogram block. 3a is equal to 19,5 minus x. Rearrange that, x is equal to 19,5 minus 3a. Well, since x is an action-reaction pair and it's equal to itself, I'm going to make those two equal to each other. I'm going to say 6a plus 0, 0,5 is equal to 19,5 minus 3a. And that turns into 9a is equal to 19. And a turns out to be 19 divided by 9, which is going to be 2,11 meters per second squared. But that is not the force that the 6 kilogram block exerts on the 3 kilogram block. We need x. So x is equal to, you could have substituted this value back up there or back in there. I don't mind. It's going to be 6 times 2,11 plus 0, 0,5 and you land up with 13 comma one seven newtons and it is the force that the six kilogram block exerts on the three kilogram block so therefore it is a force to the right.